or the top of that is. And I'm not gonna grab any of this with my hands. They typically do not go far and do not go fast. I'm gonna just scoop this in, if it will. You can mess up anything you want. Gotcha. Let me just, about how big, uh, longer, longer than your, um, what I'm saying, wider than your thumb? Yes. All right, these might spill, I apologize. These plants. It's okay. So again, we are not reaching down. We never reach down. There he is. Because of that reason, right there. Oh, hey buddy. Well, that was interesting. He's coming towards me. Oh, yeah, I got him. I got you. All yeah. right. So, now what we do, we slap this on and we slide the tongs out like that. Once we make sure this is all set, done. Boom. <laughs> Maybe three feet. And usually, if they're, the sexual dimorphism for snakes is usually the females are bigger because they need to be to have the eggs and the babies. So a lot of times we can, I mean, for one thing, we can look sometimes and tell if they are pregnant because you just, you look at them and go, whoa, you look like you're ready to pop. And, but in general, they're a, they're a fat bodied snake. People do not expect them to be so close up and to be unafraid. I had a lady call me that had two greyhounds and one of them was bit and she said, uh, it was right on my back patio. And I said, yes, ma'am. When I opened my front door, I looked. We actually had a lady who opened her front door and there was one. 